like I know it was Bethany that messaged me first. And then I looked back, I was like, Sam, it was me. <laughs> and now I understand what the significance was in that and why I was like, I feel like I need to know this girl. So she's the one who introduced me to happy juice. You guys are like, I know you love your happy juice. Yes, I do love my happy juice. And Bethany is the one who introduced it to me. Um, and actually she's the reason why you guys know about happy juice. I mean, you probably would have eventually, but she's pretty much hooked up everybody with it. Um, and she is a 10 years sober as well. And she has a super duper master's degree in addiction counseling, which is like really cool. And would love to have one of those. It's not willing to put the time into that. So, <laughs> so that's Bethany and we are go going round two on the sober support group, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do a sober september you guys um i think jackie and i and jackie you can butt in if if i'm not speaking like if you disagree with me because i'm going to use the word we but i think we both have discovered in both in our time jackie six years i'm 10 years you really learn things in hindsight of sobriety and things that would have been helpful in the very beginning versus not having and one of those things is stable mental health support um because really mental health are is the driver of the ups and downs that you have in sobriety and if your mental health just isn't in sync with your life then that's where relapse happens that's where spirals happen just so many freaking things and so um 10 years ago i don't think i would have even known about gut health supporting mental health when I first got sober, because it's just the science is only like 15 years new. And um, when science is new, it can't really be shared. Um, and so that, that's where I kind of even got into happy juice in the first place is because I had this big ego on my shoulder that gut health didn't equal mental health because in grad school, they didn't teach me that. Um, but I hit a rock bottom in my own mental health last year with my anxiety and ADHD. So I was just, I mean, what do we do when we hit rock bottoms? We're willing to try anything, right? So it's just like, I'm doing this, I'm giving it a go and it changed my life. Um, so that is what, and it's changed Jackie's recovery too and her whole postpartum journey, which you guys know if you follow her. So we are taking Sober September with an approach of mental wellness with this three part drink because it is, going to give you this solid baseline. Like if you think of those um, recovery rocks that stack up, I don't know what you call those. There's a formal name. There's like six of them. You see them at recovery centers with waterfalls. Oh yeah. If you think of your recovery like that and trying to stay sober and you put your mental health at the very bottom, that second rock, if it's your family, if it's your faith, if it's your name it, your kids, it cannot, you cannot build upon it if you don't have something sustainable, rock hard and solid at the bottom. And that's where your mental health and making it sustainable. Um, so when up and downs do come and things do get wavy, like you still have a solid baseline. And that's where the gut health comes in. So if the name happy juice is throwing you off, like it threw me, yep. look at it as mental health because, um, what people don't know and what I didn't know, and I don't know if Jackie knew, but 90% of serotonin is in our gut. And that is just like a key factor. Yeah. And so if we can get our gut communicating with our brain, the serotonin, the dopamine, the other happy neurotransmitters, um, those neurotransmitters are kind of in charge of us reaching for the quick fixes, like reaching for sugar, reaching for alcohol, reaching for X, Y, Z. Um, if we can get that stable, then we're more likely to be able to sit back, pause, process what's happening and get through it versus reaching for the quick fix. Well, yeah, and, and that's like thinking about a serotonin boost, like, you know, the dopamine of getting high or getting a drink or whatever is like we've, we've unbalanced our entire body and our brain on how do we feel, you know, how do we feel? How do we know how to feel? How do we handle what we feel? Like our body, especially early on in recovery, your body is just like, I don't know what to do. Where's the stuff that I'm used to having? And then your brain's like, let me just give my body what it's used to having. You know what yeah. I mean? And honestly, I wish, I, I wish that this was something whenever I first got sober, 
I mean, it would just be such a help. It would be, it's such a foundation, like you said, um, of something to, to build on. Because in my mind, this is the way I think of it. Like when I think about like getting healthy or getting fit or getting physically working out or any of that, like physically, if my mental health in the back of my mind is like, like, I know, you know, I'm depressed and I can't find the joy in everyday life or I'm overstressed or I'm over anxious or these thoughts just keep going and going and going and going. Like none of that physical stuff is going to happen because I can't even get myself to think straight enough to get out of bed and take a shower. You know what I mean? Like much less go move my body and eat the right things and, and all of that. And so in, when your mental health is, I, we, I keep saying stable and it's kind of like are we ever really that stable? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more stable like just something to stand on that can actually like help you reach to where you're trying to go like to build on and go forward and i think in recovery as as addicts and really people in general like we we just get all over the place you know what i mean we have we have so many things going on day in and day out it's like it's it's so easy to get, you know, tripped up with your rock metaphor, like tripped up and just like fall over, you know, cause there's so many different things going on. So if you don't have something to stand on, it's, it's just, you know, it's like another tool in your toolbox, which is what they teach you in all the recovery things. It's like staying sober. You just have certain tools that you use and happy juice, the mental wellness drink, so easy to use, so easy to drink is that is a tool. It's just another tool to use. And so we are doing this step, Sober September group where basically we're bringing a lot of different tools together. Um, our personal experience, other people's experience. Um, but we are, we are focusing this around the happy juice. So part of our, part of the requirements for membership, which I actually love, it's like a members only thing so that it's people are there who want to be there and, you know, people aren't, who don't want to, um, uh, is, is a happy juice pack, but also a good attitude and also just the, the desire to stay or get clean or sober. So even if you're not already, but you want to be like, when I think about that, like, I just, it amazes me on what the happy juice could do if you were still drinking and using and yeah. wanting to take that step over into th the threshold of sobriety, like that big, that big moment of like going forward like what that would do to kind of carry you in you know what I mean yeah it and I think that's what makes I think this so important because you mentioned that motivation piece if you're because you're going to be depleted of serotonin and dopamine when you first get sober so this just really helps with that motivation piece keeping you motivated and you're able to apply the tools the rest of the tools that we're going to help support and give you. Right. Um, and the other thing I get a lot too is, well, I already have four years sober. I don't need this. Well, I had nine years sober yeah. and I, you know, Jackie had five yeah. and it felt like I describe it as this. I learned all the things in therapy. I went to rehab for 60 days. I did AA. I was given all these tools. I've done healthy eating. I know exercise is good but I could never just pause and apply it. And this right. just, it calms your, it, it helps you be able, it's the foundation and yeah. it's hard to describe until you try it, but you're just going to have to trust the ones that I don't want to say have it together. Cause Jackie and I don't have it together, but we know a little bit if we have as much time as we do. And, and it's way so. together than it ever used to be. I will tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Liz. Um, but that's the thing. That's what I've noticed with this too, is that like, it takes people such a long time to grab it. I get it. I, it took me a long time too. I was like, okay, fine. Let's do it. Fine. You're still talking about it. Fine. I'll try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was actually going through a lot of mental stuff in my first trimester of pregnancy. So, and she just kept sharing about it and kept sharing. I don't even know if I had commented on it or anything when I actually bought it. You had, I think you text me and told me. Yeah aren't doing the other side of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the, yeah, that was the first time I ordered yeah. it and I didn't yeah. stick with it. Yeah. I remember that was the first time I, and I didn't stick with it and it just stuck in my, in my cabinet. And then, and then I got pregnant and I was like, I gotta, tr I gotta try again. I gotta do something. And I told myself, okay, I'm going to give it. Cause I didn't give it a fair chance. Just like anything else. I didn't, I didn't yeah. keep drinking it. I was like, no, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I told myself, okay, two weeks straight of 
definitely drinking it every single day. And after those two weeks, I was like, wow. And I remember I had Sean start it too. And he came home one night and he was like, he's like, I don't know if it's this drink or what, but I am feeling entirely different. And I was like, it's gotta be the drink because I'm feeling it too. <laughs> and that's like what I hear from so many people is like, I'm blown away at what I can feel already. And that's like the coolest thing. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it was the drink really either at first. I just saw all these little changes and I didn't even know the label of happy juice. I was just doing what someone told me would help me. Yeah. And so finally I looked up what was in it cause I was just like, I wanted to make sure that it was okay and I wasn't messing up my sobriety right. because I was starting to feel so good. And I'm like, I probably should have done that three weeks ago, but I didn't. And so then I started, that's when I found the science on the serotonin, the dopamine, et cetera. So just like Sean was like, I don't know what it is. That's what, that's kind of what it felt like for me too. I've had a couple people be like, I think it's the, I think it's just like the placebo effect of me drinking it, thinking it's going to help. I'm like, nah, you're going to yeah. keep feeling better. Like it doesn't go away. Like that's, that's the yeah. drink. You're just magically getting stuff done and being yeah. more patient. <laughs> it's magic. Well, that was, that was the big thing for me. So this is what I tell people too. Um, Liz, yes. Hi, Taylor. Can you see comments? I can now. Uh, Liz, yes, we're gonna have to get you some again. But I did the same thing. I started at the, I started, stopped, and then I started again, and I will never go without it. Ten months sober. Alcohol. That's awesome, Jennifer. I'm telling you, you do. Yes, you need it. Yeah, Liz is Liz. We've I've actually talked to her. I've talked to her for a long time, over a year, and like we've just followed. I've followed where she's at in her journey, and it's just been very rewarding and very cool to like see both sides and like you know help and and be part of it. It's, it's really cool. It's yeah, it's really cool. Um, yeah, so Jennifer and Liz, you guys need to get in the sober September group. Yes. I have, we should have planned this better. Let's do another one. We're gonna have to do another one. Cause I got to leave in like five okay. minutes to go get the okay. board. But, um, our, we didn't even fin the finalize. We will post the link. Well, we'll post the link to the group. You're welcome to, get ask to get into the group you're welcome to do that and then we can message you private and be like hey the membership part of the membership for this group is the you know the happy juice purchase or like having had a happy juice which is a really good deal right now because you get the happy juice you get a free product credit and you get a soft gut reset with it yeah so and the product credit you can use for any, well, any of the products on the product list. And then we're actually dropping a brand new product that's related to kids sleep, but adults can take it too. And that drops next month. And that product credit you can actually use to get that for free when it drops. So which that's freaking sleep cool. Is, sleep is a pretty big problem when first getting sober too. So <sighs> Dude, <laughs> sleep is a problem for anybody, but sleep is, and that's on the list of the things. Oh, I was going to tell you guys some of the things we talk about, we're going to talk about and go over in this group oh. is, you know, there's four weeks. So we're going to break it down in between each group. The first one's going to be like physical and mental health. And it's focused around that because when you're first getting sober or getting clean or early in your recovery, your physical stuff is like very present in what's going on. And your brain feels like it's like, oh, you feel yeah, you feel everything. Thing. <laughs> and it's a lot. So we're starting out the week focusing on physical and mental health stuff. Um, and then of course, drawing it all into how the happy juice can help or, you know, anything else from Amari and what, what helps us and what would have helped us in the beginning of getting sober. Had we known, had this been even around, you know, Hindsight um, our gift to you guys <laughs> use it. it yeah. really is. Well, and that's what they say. in you know, all the groups and stuff is like, use our, our story and our recovery as yours until it becomes yours, you know, and it's, that's, it's ours to give. And it's kind of like the same, the same thing, Caitlin. Yes. Perfect. Um, week two is going to be about relationships and a healthy lifestyle. So relationships is one that we, you know, trash while we're, <laughs> while we're <laughs> just trash. Um, and so it kind of ties into all the icky feelings that connect with that, like making amends, like saying, I'm sorry, owning up to your own stuff. Like this group's going to be for real. It's not just like, Hey, buy the happy juice and feel happier. Like it's like real stuff. If you guys missed it earlier, Bethany has a master's in addiction counseling and that's, she's, she's my kind of person because she's like deep thinker and like really goes into things and things that I try to say, she can 
word in like the perfect way to be like, oh my gosh, okay, I get that. We're really so, pair together because it's like I Jackie agree. these ideas and then I can articulate and then she feeds off them and even we are blown away by our own like how we just helped each other in recovery yeah every single time we walk away from a conversation with each other <laughs> yes for sure and it's like damn we should probably do this more <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> in our busy lives it's like okay well i got bethany time right now and then later on like sorry i missed your voice memo i know it's fine get to it when you can <laughs> Um, the next week, we're going to talk about support systems and different programs. So different, you know, obviously support around you and different options, but like routines and programs you can do at your at, on your own, like what it's like to make friends in sobriety and like have those connections with other people. Um, and then the fourth week, we're going to do personal growth and purpose. So by the fourth week, especially if you're like in 30, if you just started getting sober after 30 days or so of getting sober, you're starting to like, you're like, okay, I have like the idea of like the foundation but like let me look at what's ahead you know what i mean and like so it's kind of like finding new hobbies and interests and kind of rediscovering yourself and like all of this stuff is stuff that we do on a daily basis six years clean 10 years like it's something that is never you don't ever be you're never recovered like that doesn't happen it's a journey of recovery and so these are all things that we continue to recycle and reuse and use ourselves and like we're just putting it all in one place for you to feel comfortable, safe, um, able to open up, hopefully, um, because that's what we do. Okay. And um, private. so like when you guys comment in there, other people aren't going to see comments and experiences. Um, just just to be right. clear. Yeah, it's a private group, but it would, it's just us that's in there for like only the people that are in there are going to be in there. So I have to go jump off and go get my kids. But if you want to get in it, comment here, Sober September or I'm in or yeah, whatever. Anything that says you want to come in, come in. <laughs> you want to be a part of it because we would love to have you. And honestly, Bethany, should we try to do a live every day until then? <laughs> we probably could. I think what we'll just just so we don't get behind and into our all or nothing thinking yeah i'll yeah. repost this and invite you as a collaborator on instagram okay and then tomorrow we can go live on instagram yes good idea see okay. we work well so well together <laughs> it's like i'm like let's do this and you're like let's do this and then i'm like okay that makes sense and then sometimes you're like let's do this and i'm like let's do this yes. you're like okay <laughs> let's do that <laughs> it's pretty cool okay it's pretty cool Okay. Right. We'll see you later. We'll check the comments. Yes. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye.